that is a huge thing in of itself. So if you see the crypto market going down, they want you to transfer to fiat currency that's fully inflated with the COVID stimulus stuff, everything else, willy-nilly spending and gender programs and freaking other countries. You can talk with what you put value in. And my value is definitely not going to be in the US dollar. What is up, everybody? It is May 19th, 2021. So this video is just going to be a time capsule for today and the crypto crash that happened. Uh, let's, let's take a look here. So the market is definitely down. And uh, these are some of the coins that I've been following and I invest in. So Bitcoin is down to 35K. So that is pretty significant since we hit high as what about let's take a look so bitcoins peaked at 63,000 and uh, you can see that dip and bitcoin does have a big bearing on the rest of the market and especially altcoins so yeah um that is a landmark kind of noteworthy thing to look at in metric and so many automated trading systems are based on how Bitcoin is actually doing. It's definitely difficult to watch, but I'm going to talk through a few things and hopefully show you my rationalization and uh, mindset on how I'm thinking through what's happening. So let's get to it. So I don't believe crypto will be off the radar for long. I just don't. Um, how media is consumed, how it's produced and how many people are following alt media. It's, it's just crazy. Um, there's so much coverage that has been done on crypto this year. Even if you're talking about Dogecoin and the memes, you know, uh, that has gotten a lot of people into crypto, including myself more so this year. You know, when Dogecoin was, was uh, making strides back in March, even just the GameStop, you know, it really developed a whole group of people, uh, millennials, Gen Z people, to get into the system and you know actually get into a better system in, of investing, if you ask me, because crypto is a technology ultimately. There's, you know, crypto has its uses, like Bitcoin is a store of value, but once you get into the technology of these other coins, they do have a purpose and it's beyond you know, the internet. All these people that talked crap about Jeff Bezos, you know, why do you have an internet store? No one's gonna wanna buy something that they can't physically see where they're at currently. And you know, people were wrong. So this is just another layer on top of that and it's gonna be difficult for past generations to see that. Another thing I wanna talk about, the environmental impact. Uh, <laughs> It's really a misnomer. There's the research, the studies that they were based on is all about computers being less efficient. Uh, you know, that's completely against how computers progress. Everything becomes more efficient, more cost effective, and you're using more cost effective forms of energy, green energy, as that becomes more cost effective. A lot of uh, mining farms do that because it is cheaper. It does pay dividends long term. I don't it's, it's really fake news, if you ask me. The fact that people were saying that uh, Bitcoin and crypto is not environmentally friendly or it's very taxing in terms of, you know, power usage, it's just not the case, you know. All these banks, they have to transport physical coins, bills, everything, even, you know, collateral like gold. If you're trading gold, some of them keep collateral like gold on hand. You have to physically move goods. And that is bad for the environment unless, you know, Brinks changes their, uh, their complete supply or fleet of vehicles to be green energy vehicles, you know, it's a misnomer. So environmental argument, I don't want to hear it. Number three, let's go to the bear and bull market cycles. These will be a lot quicker and this will be because of why I believe crypto won't be off the radar for long or it won't be considered a losing asset for long. And uh, this that's really just because more people are in it. More people are looking, more people are invested in it. 
and that's ultimately how it's going to pan out. The bear and bull cycles will be much more, you know, quick. It won't be like after 2015 where everything went silent for three, four years. Next thing, market manipulation. Uh, world governments, world banks, they don't want crypto to succeed unless they have a way in. Now they can get in on many different ways, you know, some coins are based on holders, like the amount of uh, people holding and the powers that they have based on that specifically. Um, so it's hard to fully decentralize in some ways that these coins are, you know, built. What I would say is to fully look at decentralized crypto and see what they mean by that, because that's going to be a big indicator on how its use case is applied, how it's susceptibility to manipulation goes down now another thing china best believe they're manipulating the market in some time in some way um there's there's definitely a lot of incentive for them to do so especially when they can control a bunch of people or a big amount of money as a government and you know mess with the system and even report the news say that there's legislation that's going to do this and that and uh, it's huge, you know, you can't fully be in tune with these doom stories because ultimately things are gonna swing right back up. That's how this decentralization works. It's going to come up in some other area. You just can't put up barriers to this type of technology for long. Next thing, government follows corporations these days. That's, that's how the rules are made. They're the ones that are making the rules and uh, helping you know fund them to write them because people are bought and paid off in government you know big surprise who who knew but that's how i believe things are really run and corporations also have a stranglehold on the government in terms of where they're going to take business there's not much that government can ultimately do and part of uh, what corporations have power with now is cutting the middleman out of transactions government regulations you know crypto is pretty unregulated in a lot of ways how it's you know verified you know that's the beauty of the technology frankly it's not uh, wasted down by bureaucracy and government and all of this type of old tech that uh, people have run the system for years with it's completely different but that is another thing that is driving the growth of crypto is all these corporations. Now, once again, it goes into decentralization. If a corporation owns a huge amount of a certain crypto, do they have more say in how the crypto is ran going forward? Because that is another source of corruption that could ultimately lead to worse things. So keep that in mind. Now, next thing banks these days they're catering to their big fish their wealthy members to help them get into crypto or you know support their wallets banks are really striving to <laughs> cater to uh to these guys and it is because it's going to be useful long term and it's not going to go away anytime soon now one of the things that i have to mention a scene that paints it very well is the movie in time with justin timberlake he, uh, in that movie, time is a currency, and it's kind of transacted uh, in a weird futuristic way. You know, they hold hands, they do like a handshake, and then uh, the time or, you know, the currency ultimately gets transferred in that way. Now, one of the ways that I believe the market manipulation is affecting us is these people are not able to see those numbers go down comfortably. And, you know, you can't blame them. But that is ultimately Justin Timberlake's, you know, the main character's strength is he's not afraid to put things on the line to see the numbers go down. He's still in it. Um, you know, it's kind of a silly story, but I really do like that movie and how it paints the picture on how you should be very stoic and, you know, let things pass. Because ultimately, if you truly believe in something, you're going to stay with it and you're not going to let it phase you. I believe there's a lot of wisdom in that so that scene paints it very well and you shouldn't ultimately just because you may not be a huge earner or a huge wealthy person currently 
you shouldn't let it sway you because that is what they want to do when they manipulate the market. They want things to go down. They want you to see. They want you to see in the news that things are tanking. They want you to see, oh, China is not going to allow cryptocurrency at all. They want you to see these things, whether it ends up being true or not, or whether there's ways around it. They want you to pull out and be a loser. Now, you know, once again, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, but you have to keep this in the back of your mind. There's going to be people manipulating the market and ultimately you have the choice at the end of the day. Are you going to be a loser or not? And that it depends on what that loss looks like to you and ultimately what you truly believe in when you're investing. So you need to invest carefully, of course, is what I would say. Now, one of the biggest things I'm going to end with is inflation of the US dollar. There's, you know, the market could be going down, you know, 40% each day, the crypto market. But with that, my bet is still not on the US dollar, frankly, or, you know, any other currencies in the Forex market beyond that, because it's all based off US dollar. That is a huge thing in of itself. So if you see the crypto market going down, they want you to transfer to fiat currency that's fully inflated, you know, with the COVID stimulus stuff, everything else, willy-nilly spending and gender programs and freaking other countries. What the government spends money on is not ultimately anything we have control over, but you can, you know, you can talk with what you put value in. And my value is definitely not going to be in the US dollar. That is ultimately one of the big reasons why I'm holding on for dear life with the crypto stuff. I'm not gonna let the market manipulations phase me, whales exiting, you know, people are going to buy the dip, things are gonna go back up. Bitcoin will definitely be worth a huge amount one day. So don't let the temporary scare you away that's that's pretty much all i have to say so i hope you guys found this interesting this will be a, a good time capsule for the future and uh i guess we'll see what happens so hope everyone has a, a safe time out there hope you guys invest wisely and uh let's all go to the moon <laughs> all right peace guys